This is part two to my review on the KSC G18C. Here's the gun. There's the box. Now, yeah. there are other companies that make this gun. There, one of them is Tokyo Marui, which makes you know, the the gun electric because they they don't want to make a full oil gas one because it's gonna have tons of problems. Smart ass. Another company is Sima. They make the CM026 that I've heard of and uh, they do make an AEP version which is awesome for the price the gun is fairly accurate and fairly uh... And has a fairly good rate of fire so that's nice but it's not gas and it doesn't have blowback another company that makes this gun is MGC that stands for Model Gun Corporation they make the Glock 18, not the Glock 18C, meaning there's no ported sliding barrel. It has a little bit longer barrel. And doesn't have the rail frame or the grips on the KSC ones. No, I'm pretty sure there's another company. Oh yeah, KWA and JG. KWA, if any one of you heard that it's the same as KSC, haha, <laughs> dead wrong. They are not exactly the same. They are very similar, but not exactly the same. On the KSC, you will get a plastic slide and safety trigger. So that secondary trigger in there. I bought the metal slide version, which they upgraded it on RedWolfAirsoft.com. And it has the trademarks. KSC has trademarks. KWA doesn't. You can buy a trademark slide and then just switch swap the slide and you get the point on the KWA it has that hole in the bottom of the base plate KSE doesn't in fact I'll show you that hole you piece of see there's that hole let me just put this aside for now piece of shit. differences between the magazine the Glock logo and the base plate. That's it. And then the KSC does hold, does have higher quality. On the KWA, less quality but still really good. On the magazines of KSC and KWA Glocks and the JG, one thing you have to watch out for is that little retaining pin in there this one right here right there yeah sometimes that will fall out and this entire top piece will go if you lose that pin you can take a little toothpick and stuff it in there and then super glue that's what I did to this one it's a little yellow I lost that retaining pin on this one I'm going to be a lot more careful okay what else do I want to talk about the basic disassembly of the gun, one thing you have to do is make sure there's no magazine in there. Lock lock back, set it to save. Oh yeah. Semi full auto. Then save. Sit on safe. Pocket one more time. Pull down that tab and that tab. Both down at the same time. Then move back a little bit. Be careful when you take it off. Internals, some some reason I feel it's a little different than the first first case first Glock I've owned. Well, first Glock 18C I've owned. Here's the recoil spring. Don't lose that. Don't lose uh this thing right here. Don't lose that. I like you'll want to keep it. Trust me. When I got this, it came with a plat. It, it came comes with a plastic guide rod. You can buy a metal guy rod, but don't. But it's a waste of money to me, unless it breaks. On my Glock 19 comes with a metal guy rod. Don't know why. Plastic weighs less. Metal barrel, metal slide. Inner barrel just slides right out. Another problem with KSC and KWA Glocks. Now the JG is that hop up rubber. Yeah, sooner or later, it will start to shred. Like, shh, 
shred. Then it's gonna fuck up your accuracy and everything like that. Put the barrel in. Put the recoil spring in. Put it on that tab. You've seen some vi Watch Mike EE's video on how to disassemble a full auto Glock. Shows you how to lubricate it too, so I don't have to put one because I'm way too lazy. Make sure it's on the groove end. There you go. The select switch. Yeah, I already told you. Semi, then full auto. When if you want to change it while you're shooting, you can move it back just a little bit, then change it. Don't just go. Don't do that. You'll break it. It happened to tangle down. Yeah, that was awful. You can buy replacement parts, but again, pain in the ass. And I'm not sure if I told you this yet, but when the gun is cocked, you can stick your magazine in it, then rock, rack the slide. But if your gun is not cocked, don't sl don't put the magazine in. You'll break that little pin that pushes the gas valve. I'm not. I think I already told you that. Uh, let me see. Anything else that I want to talk to you guys about? Uh, accessory. Yeah, you get a lot of stuff for the different sights. Get something for the rails. You get the 50 round magazine. Awesome. You can get a different uh magazine release. You get an extended slide slide catch or slide lock or slide release. I've heard many different names. You get a, you get a sanded down barrel and slide. They look awesome. You can do it yourself, but it's probably going to suck. You get a threaded barrel for a silencer. I don't want a silencer because it will make the gun look gay, in my opinion. Uh, let me see. You get high flow valve. You get different base plate. And that's pretty much it. I'll do a firing test later. I can't right now because I'm out of gas. I wasted all my gas already because this gun is fun as hell to shoot. Feel free to ask any questions about this, this gun. This gun is awesome. I give this gun an 8.5 out of 10. I, I may lose 1.5 points because of the retaining pin right there. And... I forgot. Oh well. This is Airsoft Man John. Thanks for watching this review.